I need a little bit of money. I need a little bit of money. I need a little bit of money. Join with stuff to discuss, and I'm here to discuss stuff. Yeah, that's what I said, stuff. So today I'm going to discuss stuff about what's trending, and I'm going to discuss about, um, of course, pet peeves, and I'm going to discuss about things about what the heck were they thinking. So let's begin. All right, here's what we're going to discuss. Okay. Was what's trending now? What's trending now is about Oprah going to this Swiss store. I think I have to get my you know my facts right, but going to the Swiss store. There's a Swiss clerk there, and she finds this purse, or she wants to buy, you know, purchase this purse for thirty-eight thousand dollars. And the clerk says to her, according to what I read, is the clerk says to her, "You can't." For this. You can't buy this. What? I mean, really? I mean, come on now. Do she know who Oprah is? I, I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. But I mean, Oprah is multi, 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 double multi millionaire. And she comes stepping in the store and she don't know who she is. And she said, you can't, you can't, you can't afford this. Now, my thoughts was, she must So what I was thinking was, is that how is it that, really seriously, that they, this lady, this clerk person didn't know either who Oprah was, she was hating on her, something. So anywho, so what she must thought was Oprah wasn't going to tell. I mean, she was mistreated wrong. I mean, it was saying that she was looked at as, it was a racist thing, but... I mean, honestly, I mean, if you see a black person coming in an expensive store, and I wouldn't care. If I had a store, I don't care if you walking in like you a bum. I mean, you today, you don't know what people have, who they know, what they are. With this is another story topic trending, is that it was this good we're working in California here. They didn't say where, and she's, you know, a color of a girl that was picking out, you know, doing the donation, kind of uh, separating the donation clothing and all that stuff. Lo and behold, she finds what? That's right, she finds an envelope. She finds an envelope with, guess what? Money in it, and guess how much the money was in it? 10K, yes, mm -hmm. 10K. She finds 10K, so I'm saying to myself, okay, she finds 10K, she gonna probably, you know, keep it, whatever. Oh, no, 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 she turns it in. She turns it in. Can you believe that she turns it in? And she said she turned it in because she thought her boss was going to, like, you know, well, she, they told her them to turn donations in that they think, like that, I guess money is involved. So, of course, she turns it in. And they tell her she's only going to get 10% once the 30 days is up to see if anyone claims the money. Now, this is what I read. I could be reading wrong, but. You know, 10%. Now, 10% to me, I could be like miscalculating $10,000, but 10% to me is $1,000. And I just thought if it was me, I would have took the money, kept the nine, said I only find 1000 and then there you go. But I just prayed to the Lord. I said, Lord, please don't test me in those waters because these are my favorite, favorite, favorite topic is pet peeve. Pet peeves, dude. Okay, so my pet peeve for today. Wow, well, it's so many. It is so many. So many pet peeves that I just run into day to day to day. Okay, so here's my pet peeve. I probably discussed it, but I have to just talk about it. My pet peeve is when you are in a store or not in a store, do it seem like that people have to be like, um, let me see. 
oh, I don't know, kind of like following you, all up on you, or whatever. I probably talked about that, but this time it was more aggravating. Okay, me and my family's in the store. We are in an aisle like always, and there's someone that's just gotta be there, or they come out of the blue, the sky, I don't know, and they just gotta look at the same what item that you're standing by. Oh my God, that just totally gets on my nerve. I don't know if it gets on your nerve, but it gets on my nerve. I just don't like people up under me like that. It's just, come on. If I see somebody down the aisle and I know they're gonna be there for a while, I won't go to another aisle. Hopefully that they're gone and don't spend a night at that aisle. And I move on and come back and say, okay, they're gone. And then try to get the item or look at the item. Or if I need something really badly, I go back to that aisle with that person in the same aisle. And hopefully they'll just scoochie scooch over and we could share this aisle. But unfortunately in America, in Houston, um, that is what my pet peeve is. I hope that is your pet peeve as well. Tell me what you think below comment on it and tell me hey do you feel the same way when you go to a store and people are just like rude all up under you or they just you just like all right so now my next subject is what the heck were they thinking why did they just what were they thinking okay so saw on the news on online uh yesterday was this thing about japan i guess got this kind of thing called Pepsi Cheetos, flavored the Pepsi Cheetos, whatever, you know, Cheetos you eat, but just like cheese flavor. Um, you know, they got it hot, fiery, fiery hot, all that kind of stuff. And of course, Japan want to be all like uh, different. So they have a Pepsi one. Now, I say, why would you want to So that? not only did they do the Cheeto thing, but they also wanted to do a black hot dog. Now the black hot dog, what I just, just they describe, is not really like charcoal black where you burnt it and you're like nasty. But it said it's a sweet type of taste and that it's some dye from some kind of, I could have sworn it said bamboo or something, I don't know, some dye. And it looks like black. And it's a sweet taste when you first taste it, and they're trying to put that on their little menu. But honestly, um, if it comes here in America, I don't think too many people are gonna be, well, maybe crazies, but I don't think too many people are gonna go after that. I'm just saying. Okay, so you tell me. What's your thoughts on that one? Because that's just, what the heck were they thinking? I don't know. All right, YouTubers, this is Joanne. Again, with stuff to discuss, telling you thank you for watching this channel. I appreciate it. I hope the ones that are watching is appreciating it. Appreciating my news and topics and everything, and my fashion. I'm doing more lookbooks, so I put those up on Facebook. I'm putting it up on our blog. I'm trying to get that going. And also, I was at VidCom. It was fun. I think I have a video of me just doing a little bit of VidCom, so I met some things there. I went with my son. And Denise again, I know. I keep saying this. I'm going to stop saying it. We're going to do it. We're going to try to work on um, having, uh, you know, a group kind of thing where you hang out um, just talking to you about a lot of different topics together so you see us together even though she's in Rhode Island and I'm here in California so anywho so thank you again for watching don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and like this video this video please like it like all our videos watch our channels and uh, I'll come back again with stuff to discuss also media in one I'm trying something new with that so just give me all kind of celeb info in one minute so uh, thanks again talk to you later bye